Got a little bit of uh, copyright happening in there. Um, I guess I'll just say welcome back to another episode. I've been doing some things in the background uh, while waiting to uh, fix the M3, but it is super windy. It is cold. Uh, we have had some snow here in Austin, Texas, of all things. I thought I left that in uh, Wisconsin, but evidently it followed me down here. Uh, you see the outfit sitting there as beautiful as ever. I think. I feel, in fact, I know, I want to create a segment here on the channel instead of doing a personal channel, basically as like an unplugged. You know, I really enjoyed uh, Vlogmas. It was really cool to just just capture the day, capturing what was happening while I was moving around. With that said, uh, I am moving around today because I am here at the camera exchange and I am making a big, big leap of faith with a purchase. It's time to move forward with my brand. It's time to move forward with me as a filmmaker. And while I have loved my A7 III for all this time, it's happening, it's happening. So I am going to do an unplugged but kind of like the day-to-day -day stuff, the vlogging stuff, anything that I'm doing for the brand, the business, uh, those kind of things. I think those are important too. But at the same time, when it's days about the cars, we want to keep it about the cars, especially uh, the DIY Wednesday segment, which I have more content for that coming up. Uh, I've got people reached out about the five series. One of the jobs that I did or one of the projects I did was replacing the Valtronic motor. So that's been getting a lot of traction with shorts. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting that out for DIY Wednesday. So just, just hold on, hold on, it's coming. It is super cold, it's cold right now while I'm standing outside, uh, but I'm gonna get inside, finish my transaction, and I'll be showing you guys a little bit later what is happening. Here's the A7 III, uh, all rigged. Man, this has been my uh, go-to setup for uh, at least two years now as far as handheld setup. The beauty behind that, even more than just understanding how to really get a more stable shot and be more run and gun without the extra weight of a gimbal is uh, starting to pull focus manually that's going to be the real big key this year. So why am I even thinking about going to a newer camera setup? Isn't it always said that, you know, it's not really the camera, but it's the creativity of the artist, the creativity of the content creator and filmmaker. That is true. That is very much so true. Uh, however, I feel that what I see in the quality from the A7, three versus quality that I've seen from even newer cameras other than the cinema camera that I have right now and probably especially the cinema camera that I have now. There are obvious differences between them. The major thing with this one is, is that even though it's shooting 4K, uh, you're capped out at 30 frames per second. So you're either shooting 24 frames or 30 frames per second. And when it comes to slowing down uh, your content or slowing down footage, it can get a little choppy if you slow down too much. I, I would say from what I'm noticing, if I'm slowing down uh, somewhere closer to 75%, even sometimes 80%, 
um, it starts to get really choppy. So I have to stay around 85% slower, 90% slower, which is doable while shooting. I'm very aware and I'm using very slow movement. So that is what has started to help me out, especially with the handheld game. Now, when it comes to just being able to slow down moving objects that are moving in a linear motion that I don't have a way to slow down, then only being able to shoot in 30 frames per second, that's not good. For me, just being able to shoot in at least 60 frames per second in 4K is a win. The other major difference uh, for me with this, I may have talked about this even during my Vlogmas episode is where I was filming content and when you turn this camera on and you hit record, you're only seeing the light back here. You're not seeing anything up front here and unless of course the monitor is turned around, uh, you're actually able to see the meters uh, that are working. But from behind here, you're not seeing any of the meters that are telling you where uh, sound is. So there's a lot uh, that is happening with this one or a lot that's not happening with this one that I really need to happen with uh, the newer setup. So uh, without getting too far into the tech and too far into the specs, let's get into the new cam. Let's just get this bad boy open. There it is right there. I will set this down. This is fresh out of the box. Uh, I did take a peek earlier today. Of course I had to, because I gotta make sure everything is in here. But there is the Sony FX3. This, <laughs> this has been a long time coming. O-M-G. Yes, we now have, if I'm using this running gun as it is with the setup, we got the flip out screen that you absolutely do not have on. The only thing you got on the 873 is this guy. So yeah. Man, I, I really I'm really just excited about finally having this. I literally got home a short time ago. My day started really late. So I just got home a little while ago. I ate dinner and uh, I had not even been in here to take this out. Uh, to really take a look at it. I took a look at it while I was uh, sitting in the parking lot before I left. So uh, let me just slide this guy in. So good. So we're gonna get this set up in the hot sheet. Like that. And I like these screws are actually spring loaded. Of course, I'll tighten that down as needed, but there is that input there. And of course, we just throw a shotgun mic, slide that right through the top there. So not sure what mic I'll end up going with. There's a Sennheiser that I've looked at a few times, even a Comica that I've looked at that would end up going through there. So we just have our running gun set up, but nice grip right there on the uh, XLR handle for uh, handheld shots. And this thing is super, oh wow, it is very light. This is a super light setup. And as I mentioned uh, before, uh, the big thing about uh, just running with this as a running gun setup, the weight that you deal with uh, with a gimbal. So uh, handheld work is going to really be the setup and uh, getting the wheels and all the things that are needed to pull focus manually is going to be the go. <laughs> I'm learning so much about audio right now. I really don't even know what I'm looking at 
just yet, uh, other than um, other than where the inputs are and some things like that, and, and setting the gains and all of that. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm looking at there. So, uh, <laughs> so all I'm going to say is is that I am uh, I'm I feel like a newbie. I feel like a newbie. I feel like a newbie. I don't feel like a newbie. I feel like I am learning. I'm learning all of the time. And I feel like that is the big thing about being any type of creator, any entrepreneur, you know, any creative entrepreneur. Uh, and especially as a, a filmmaker is that uh, I always want to be willing to learn just like I was playing baseball is just being willing to learn, being coachable, realizing I don't know everything and I don't want to know everything. Uh, because the moment you feel like you know everything, then the ability to remain humble and want to learn from people that can really teach you, uh, you make it that much harder for yourself because it's just a self-inflicted thing uh, that happens naturally as a human being. And I don't ever want to take myself out of uh, being able to be around people that can actually teach me what I don't know when I don't even know I don't know it. I am super excited to start using this. I have a project coming up uh, in February. I uh, know I did not make the event that I was trying to make in uh, this past weekend, as a matter of fact, because the M3 just is not ready. So, and it's probably good <laughs> because I would be driving back or would have been driving back when it is super cold. I wouldn't have had my winter tires uh, on there unless I was paying attention to the fact that it was going to be cold. I probably would have been rolling around down there in my winter, excuse me, in my summer tires and got back here with no traction. So uh, maybe that just worked out for the good. I'm learning that I can't rush the process. I'm learning that I just have to go with it. I do as best as I can. And then if it requires me to sit back and do a reset, then I sit back and do a reset. There's going to be a lot of shares like this. I don't, I'm, I want to be the most transparent, uh, YouTuber, filmmaker, uh, content creator out. I want you to see not only the good things like this, but I want you to see when, when things aren't so great, when things really get you in a place where you just want to give up and it's just imperative that you know that you're not by yourself when those things happen it just it's life but you just really got to find it in yourself to dig deep and just push through and it'll play itself out the way it's supposed to on the other side and you'll be able to look back and say wow i didn't see that going through it but now looking back i see why it needed to happen the way it happened. So, and I'm always grateful once I'm on the other side of that. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed and hurt and a whole lot of emotions uh, going through it, but you know that's the purpose of this channel is to uh, create content, create car content that heals. Not only car content where I'm fixing cars and, and modding cars, but I'm using that as, as an, an opportunity to heal myself and share content to help you heal too. So even if you don't know it. So in the meantime, you guys, as always, show up for yourself, love yourself, because you have to do that for you first before you can do it for anyone else. In the meantime, you all be blessed, uh, be amazing, and know that you are a creator and get out there and create the life that you want through the gifts and tools that you have been blessed with. And you'll soon know your purpose if you don't already. All right, you all know what to do. Keep driving. Salute.